I stated in one of my previous videos that every single one of you should open, should grind the crypt and get the Jinsei hat. This piece is incredibly useful and today I'm going to showcase how useful it is. And I'm going to showcase how useful it is at Fusion Zero. I'm going to teach you, by the way, how to use that piece to the best of your abilities uh, so that you can take full advantage of it. Of course, at maximum fusion, this piece is overpowered. First thing first, it gives 50% critical hit chance boost against a 30, which is great. A uh, second thing, the chance increase from 10 to 20, which is amazing. But the most important part is the attribute that you unlock once you uh, get this piece fusion 10. Once per match, avoid that by automatically tagging out before the killing blow. After tagging out, use against a thousand percent recovery for seven seconds. And basically, the only way that this can be triggered is uh, the only way this can be countered is by brutality, I believe, or friendship probably, uh, because the death mark doesn't work. On the description of this attribute, it says before the killing blow. So it doesn't matter whether you have death mark, you avoid the killing hit. So you can uh, counter death mark by using the Jinsei hat at maximum fusion. Well, today I want to showcase how this thing works at low fusion. Now, this is super important. 10% chance to apply weakened shield break or curse on a critical hit. So in a way, the more you critically hit, the better. And one of the best ways to make sure that you 100% are going to apply something to the enemy is by using Classic Raiden. Why Classic Raiden is so good? Because his special tool has tons of mini hits, probably like 20 or something. It's crazy. So 100% you're going to get something. And the next thing that you need to guarantee before we start using special tool of Classic Raiden is to make sure that we have high critical hit chance. How we do that? We have the Rat Hammer, 30% critical hit damage boost. Uh, crit chances, sorry. And every single free-to-play player should be able to max the Rat Hammer within 1.5 months in the game. I maxed it within one month. It wasn't really that difficult. Uh, just open equipment packs. It also drops in the crypt. It drops everywhere. Also, we have the Jinsei hat for another 30. So that's 30 plus 30, that's 60. Uh, we have revolvers. This doesn't give us anything when it comes to the mm, critical hit chance yet. That's sad. So we have 60 so far. Uh, another thing. We also have uh, the Kung Jin that gives another uh, 30. So that's 90, remember, uh, that Graydon is also a uh, martial artist, so that's 90, right? Let's see here, we have another 17, and we go ab above 100, which is a little bit, uh, let's go it that way, a little bit of, um, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it is already 7% is fine. And we have 22% critical hit damage boost, isn't that incredible? 22% from our talent set, and also don't forget that we also get a boost from our... Uh, Triborg Cyrox. I just made a video about Triborg Cyrox today and you can see how you can use him uh, in a beginner team. Of course, this cannot be, uh, it shouldn't be only a Raiden. The first part of the video I'm going to demonstrate how awesome it is on Raiden. Then I'm going to demonstrate how you can use it on your support character. If you have specific support character, that's going to be incredible. Uh, and let's, without any further ado, let's jump into the first fight and assert dominance. Unfortunately, my enemies aren't really super more uh, strong than me, super stronger. But you can see the difference in health. Uh, actually, I have 51,000. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to remove that piece. I didn't want to use that. I just realized 51,000 is way too much. Uh, but I want you to see the damage. So I'm going to do special too. And you can see that definitely I'm going to apply some. There you go. There's a shield break. Can I apply something else? There is a cripple. Uh, sorry, a curse. So definitely I'm applying something. So I'm going to repeat the same strategy. I hope I'm not going to die. Oh, I didn't die, which is cool. Oh, why didn't break his block? I have block break from this guy. Thank you very much. I'm going to attack to Raiden again. I have the shield, that's all I wanted. I'm going to remove this little cane piece because I'm getting too too much, like, too strong. Another special tool, which is going to absolutely demolish this guy. And again, 100% to apply something. Look at this. It applied three debuffs. Three debuffs on that guy. Isn't that incredible? I'm going to do this again. Okay. Uh, I wonder whether I'll be able to... Hmm. I think the strategy is uh, we kill Jaxi and then I attack to Raiden. All right. And then I have the shield, and eventually, eventually, I I survive. <laughs> because if I don't survive, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I have the shield. Can I survive? I did survive. That's beautiful. Okay. I'm going to let him hit me, and then I'm going to do special two. It's going to absolutely demolish him and apply a million debuffs. Look at this. Already have curse. Do you have something else? No, this time just curse. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Uh, okay, just... I want to kill this guy. Another special tool, why not? I mean, I'm critting on every single hit. You can see, they don't have any piece that reduces my critical hit chance. So at this point, I can fly. Because every single hit is critical. And every single hit has 10% chance to apply the buff, which is absolutely busted. All right, for the next fight, whatever it is, I'm going to remove that Lucane piece because it gives me a lot of health. I just wanted to use him for the regeneration, but unfortunately, it gives me a lot of health. It's not really that great. 
Uh, instead, I'm going to I'm going to use Dynasty Parade uniform so I can have chance to regenerate on special two. That's the plan. All right, Oha. Now I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to use uh, something else. I'm going to get here. I want to use this piece. Look at this. 20% chance to play shield break, 35% chance to regeneration on special two. And guess what? I'm using special two all the time. And now we have uh, we are facing a Daniel Blood Kitana that has at least four times more health than my Raiden. Right, let's see. This time my Raiden should be... Yeah, there we go. Four times more health. So definitely she's much, much stronger than me. Uh, and I want to just destroy her. Look at this. She's dead. She cannot do anything. <laughs> she's absolutely destroyed. Look at this. The damage is brutal. Unfortunately, I am in no position to uh, try to see whether my special is going to be uh, straight ahead destroy my enemies without using either combo end or anything else. But... Uh, what I'm going to do now, I will check whether Jason is going to tag out by himself. And if he does, then I'm going to uh, try to do special to right at the bat immediately to the other guy. Okay, let's see whether it's going to be enough. 51,000 health. Okay, definitely. And there is no shield break. Yes, <laughs> there is no shield break. He's dead. Okay, I'm going to attack to this guy. He literally has nothing, but I will try to stall. And I think I was lucky so far. Okay. Yeah, definitely I was lucky. That's cool, that's cool. So, I'm going to talk to this guy. Classic Raiden is super, super cool, guys. Super, super cool. No, 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 he's going to special one, no! Oh my god, that's super bad! Like, I literally did that to myself. <laughs> there is nobody to blame, I literally did that to myself. And I think I lost, unless I do a, a clinch death mark, please. Death mark. Hmm. I think I, I kind of lost this fight, which is unfortunate. Oh, dead mark now! Thank you very oh, thank you very much. I need a dead mark now. Oh, whatever, screw it. We're going to repeat this fight and going to be. I was just trying to demonstrate that I'll be able to uh, one shot them all with special two, which is so I could do fifty thousand damage, and that's without the shield break. If you're lucky enough, and if you're extremely lucky and get shield break plus curse, you'll be absolutely destroyed everything. Of course, that's. It doesn't happen every time, but as you saw, you get the debuff every single time when you do special 2. It's guaranteed. I mean, classic raid on special 2 has so many mini hits that it's almost impossible not to get a debuff. So, yeah. Okay. My shield is going to expire. So, look at the amount of debuffs this girl has. It's incredible. And it's it's good that I'm going to fight, um, uh, not Raiden, but uh, um, the guy, you know, Jason Hulk is last, because I think this guy is going down. Okay, I'm going to use this, I'm going to attack. He's going to stay, that's beautiful. Okay. Ah, I need that mark on this guy. Can I have that mark? Oh, okay, whatever, whatever, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this, I don't care. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> One special too, and he's dead. He has twice the amount of health that I have, so... Okay, he can do bleed to my entire team, which is unfortunate. And Jason, uh, Jason special uh, tree will connect from everywhere, so you cannot make it miss. It will always connect. Even if you're at the other side of the map, he's going to casually walk to you like this. <laughs> he's going to grab you by the throat. He's going to destroy you. So, yeah. Oh, he has this. So can I? It's going to be enough, though. I don't know whether it's going to be enough. And I don't have the shield. So imagine if I lose it again. No, no, no. Oh, that's good. Imagine if I lose again like uh, in the worst possible way uh, I I kind of re remind my I have to remind myself of special one also deals a lot of damage because it will always be critical and it will always do more damage so it's perfectly fine as you can see you can turn classic Raiden into a monster by using this strategy and another thing that I want to showcase guys but you want to showcase I need to reach battle 40 it has to be made against bosses otherwise it won't have any so I'm going to uh, refresh this I'm going to kill them all, you know. No, I think I think I'll finally guess. I don't really want to waste a lot of attempts, but yeah, we're just uh, we're just showcasing how beautiful this piece is if you use it actively. Okay. Now the drawback in this strategy is that you don't have in the beginning pieces of equipment that have uh, one very important attribute, which is to reduce uh, is to reduce the thing, you know, the the power cost of special attack too. You don't have these pieces, which is super, super unfortunate. It is what it is, okay. Okay. All right, beautiful, I got the shield. 
So if Boraicho comes next, I'm just going to destroy him. I mean, this guy is also taking pretty, pretty good damage. Tag out. He's not going to tag out. Okay, I'm going to just kill him. That's fine. <laughs> Look at the damage. He had the curse and he has the shield break. It's brutal. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, fine. No, 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 no. Two seconds more. I need to survive for two more seconds. Oh, I didn't break his block even once. That's super unfortunate. It's okay, though. So Silver Kunjin can pretty much stall the time uh, in your favor so that you can get back to uh, Classic Raider and destroy him. 40,000 health. He's going down. He's go he cannot survive this. Look at <laughs> Crazy. Wow. I think that his special tool at the moment without any tower equipment is doing something like 70k. Roughly. Uh, if the shield break is on. Probably more. And the thing is... Once again, no tower equipment whatsoever. And that's Fusion 1 Raiden. Crazy. Uh, so my Cyrox basically is going bye-bye. And there's nothing I can do about it. Anyways, let's beat it. Of course, this like team isn't the most optimal team for these battles, but I'm having fun using Classic Raid and Low Fusion with this, with this particular strategy. It is, oh, they all have X-rays. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's that's lovely. You know what? I'm going to... I don't know when I'm going to survive an X-ray, though. That's that's the big problem. I have shield, but I'm not convinced I'm going to survive any of those things, so I'm going to tag. Okay, I... Can I make him, like, uh, by pushing him away? Can I make... No, I think that uh, this guy will always... Yeah, he will always connect. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't have shield, so if he, if he guys tags out, I'm more or less dead. Unless I kill him now, and then I attack to my... Uh, yeah, I kill him now. <laughs> Look at that out! I, I did like three shield breaks and whatever, it's crazy. Okay. Uh, can he miss? No, he cannot miss. <laughs> I tried everything to make them miss, but they will not miss. Anyways. Now Raiden is going to take care of this guy. The unfortunate thing about the Varmint's Lucky Hat is that the moment the wearer dies, uh, the effect stops working. So the next time when somebody attacks, once the wearer dies, the other guy doesn't get the shield. Break, uh, the shield. But anyways, that was a very easy win. I expected it to be more difficult, but it wasn't really difficult at, uh, at all. And I really want to get to Battle 40 when I'm going to showcase how you can um, use this on specific characters. Uh, to amplify your damage in towers, so it's going to be pretty cool. And uh, the uh, uh, basically the characters are classic Shang Tsung and Adina the Train, and they both can be very very useful if you want to do boss fights, if you want to do critical hit chance, critical hit damage, and yeah. The last fight before and block damage tripled. That's not a problem for our Fusion One classic Raiden who is going to demolish everything. Okay, I really want to I want to see what I can one-shot Kintaro. Definitely I will one-shot him though. Uh, so in order to do that, I need to kill her, this girl, very very slowly, which is unfortunate. Okay, this guy, 48,000 health. No, you know, I think that he deals like 100 because he got melted and, didn't, and he didn't have, I just want to mention, he didn't have uh, the shield break and he didn't have curse and he got melted like crazy. Okay. What the hell? Just talk to maybe Raiden already. Okay. I wanna, I wanna one shot Kintaro. I really do one shot him. Okay, do it. Seventy k. That's the biggest. Oh my god, no! It does. It does about a hundred. It does about a hundred. Or at least let's say eighty-five or ninety. Very, very close to a hundred, if not a hundred, a hundred percent. I said a hundred multiple times by now, but I guess you understand why. Anyways, so we need one last fight to do, and this fight is going to be, uh, it's going to be against um, bosses. And this is when I'm going to change the strategy, so I'll be using Classic Scorpion uh, and I'll be using Classic Shanzo. So that you can see how uh, you can basically use uh, the thing against um, this particular team. So where I never ever use Classic Shanzo on, on my beginner account, but now is the time to do so. Where is he? Where is he? Classic Shang Tsung. Uh, was he? I believe he was... Um, a, a by attack. That's that's fine. I want it ascending. Right there. I never ever use him. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I will give him a lot of gear to boost his critical hit chance. And by a lot of gear, I mean I will do this. The Rat Hammer. And I will do this the Jinsei hat. 
So it has uh, 30, it has uh, 60, it has 90 because of Kunjin, and he has 100 because of our talent. We already went through a talent tree. And here, I'm going to this time, I will take uh, my best. You know what? I'm not going to take my best gear because I want to kill them too fast. So I'm going to do this. And I will do this. So let's see how this is going to. Alright, so the point is I'm spamming special one and I'm waiting for Shansung Beams. Shansung Beams won't be doing a lot of damage. Uh, however, what they will do is they will crit. And on critical hit chance, they have 10% chance to apply Weaken Shield Break or Curse on my enemy. Now, Weaken, I don't really care because I don't want to get hit at all. But uh, I do care about Curse. Uh, and I do care about Shield Break, especially Shield Break. And I made a mistake here. I had to give uh, my Scorpion a little bit more critical hit chance, but he also have about 50, thanks to the fact that Kunjin, Silver Kunjin, is in our team. All right, so we start the fight. And now we will be doing uh, special one, and Shaolin Tsung is going to assist, right? There we go, and it crit. Unfortunately, it crits for 300, uh, which I expected that is not going to be a lot. But still, uh, it is going to be something because I care only about the critical hit chance and the chance for it to apply shield break. So far, nothing. If we if you kill them too fast, then I'm going to <laughs> restart the whole thing. That's fine. Okay, another critical hit chance. A critical hit, I'm sorry. But nothing yet. I think that this guy is ready to go. Okay, he's dead and nothing happened. That's sad. She gave me right enough power to melt her with special one. So thank you very much, Cassie. You're a very beautiful girl. Okay, come on, Shansung. Come on. Do something. I need the shield break. Of course, the, the chance of this happening increases once uh, you have more... Uh, um, once you have high fusion of this piece. So far, nothing. It was like five or six assists. I need to keep doing special uh, ones. Is it like... I don't understand, but uh, dampening. Okay, I, I was like, okay, I, I generate power super, super slow. I don't know what's happening, but it's the dampening thing, so it's unfortunate. Come on, do something. I want to have power. If I die here, just going to restart. I want to just demonstrate the whole thing, so. There we go, there is the weekend. So I was unlucky to get the pro probably the worst uh, of the entire thing, but it actually wasn't because she just did special one to me and didn't do a lot of damage. Uh, so. 10%. I want something else, please. <laughs> I'm killing you with basic attacks, come on! Anyways. Okay. Do we have something else? Another critical hit? Nothing, nothing. That's unfortunate. At least she's weakened. She's not weakened anymore, so I have to be careful. 40 seconds. Okay. Another bam. Crit. There we go. Unfortunately, guys, this wasn't really the best demonstration because Shansung just did one weaken. It isn't really the greatest if uh, this piece is at low fusion, but if you get lucky and it applies a shield break, it's going to be massive for you. And this team has it all. At, uh, as you saw, my team is super, super weak in terms of fusion, in terms of levels, in terms of equipment, and uh, you can get very, very high critical hit chance on more or less every single person. Uh, and um, if you're lucky, and if you have this piece, let's say Fusion 3 or Fusion 4, the chance is not going to be 10, it's going to be 10, 13, 14. So the higher this piece gets when it comes to be, uh, Fusion, the better for you. So you have higher Fusion to, uh, for Shansung to assist and apply useful things like Curse or Shield Break. And why not both? Like the first Curse, then the Shield Break if you're super lucky. Alright guys, I hope you found this video useful, if you did, consider subscribing to the channel, give me a thumbs up, you know the drill, uh, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, um, subscribe to the channel, <laughs> uh, leave a comment down below, tell me whether you found this useful, and see you next time. Take care guys. Perfect!